All right, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys are having an incredible day today. It is an absolutely beautiful day here in Chicago. We're procrastinating homework today. Finals are next week. I have so much work to do, but I want to talk about Russell Westbrook. And I actually want to apologize to Russell Westbrook. The The Washington Wizards have, have now won eight straight basketball games. And I mean, pretty much all of it has to do with Russell Westbrook. Now, I have some clips here. Uh, one of them is Stephen A., but there was a couple of weeks ago, Stephen A. went on whatever the f- first take, whatever show they have, and he made some comments. And he was like, I think they were 17 and 30 or 17 and 28, but they were like 12, 11 games, at least 10 games behind 500. Uh, this was right after the deadline, and he kind of called out Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook, you know, a lot of us Rocket fans know him. Uh, obviously, he played for him, but a lot of Rocket fans love him because he did so well for us last year, right? He went 27, 8, and 7 with a steal and a half per game. We all know that Russell Westbrook gives it his all every time he's on the court and that his dedication is there. We all know that. But When he came to the Wizards and you have Bradley Beal who scores 30 points per game every single night, there's no reason this team should be in the Eastern Conference, you know, whatever it was, 10, 11, 12 games below 500. So ever since then, I think the, the Wizards actually lost like the next four, but they've won the last eight straight, 10 of the last 11, and they now find themselves in a spot for the playing game. And as a Bulls guy, as a Bulls, you know, native, I'm very annoyed. (laughs) But I also love Russell Westbrook. And I love watching Russell Westbrook play. This season is no different. He is averaging a triple-double. Again, he's about to pass a big O. 22 points per game, 11 rebounds, 11 assists, almost a steal and a half per game. Now, he does average like five turnovers. But, I mean, he has been absolutely huge to them in the last couple of weeks. He's actually the second, for my fantasy basketball players out there, he's the second best fantasy basketball option this season. Uh, In the last month, he's averaging like 22, 14, and 12. It's just unbelievable. He's ranked number one. But they've won eight straight. And uh, I still, honestly, guys, my opinion has not changed. I did want to apologize. You know, I'm not even Stephen A. I just watched like a Stephen A video or, you know, I don't even think he apologized, but it just gave me the uh, inspiration is basically what I'm trying to get at here. I I don't revoke my comments about Russell Westbrook not winning anything. I mean, he's played with some of the best basketball players in the league. Kevin Durant, James Harden, Serge Ibaka, Reggie Jackson, I, Paul George. Like These are just the first five names. Those are not even the strongest five, I would imagine, because Reggie Jackson's on that list. No disrespect to Reggie Jackson, but I think Russell Westbrook's played with much. Uh, James Harden, dumbass. So (laughs) Russell Westbrook in the playoffs, I just feel like he tries way too hard. And maybe that was the wrong way to word it, but he almost... The, the What I'm trying to get at here is he tries so hard that it's almost detrimental and counterproductive for the team. Like if they need a spark or if they just need Russell Westbrook to take that next notch up or even if it's just a playoff game and, you know, Russell Westbrook on a team like the Wizards, on a team like the Rockets, he's either the first or second option. And obviously that comes with a lot of pressure. You want to do well. You want to win. I just feel like he puts all of the pressure on his back when, I mean, he really doesn't need to. You got to get the teammates involved. I just personally don't think that Russell Westbrook's play style will ever win him a championship. Now, I think there are teams he could go to to possibly win a championship. Like, I actually think him on the Clippers would be super cool, and I think that would be amazing. But when you're with Bradley Beal and no disrespect to the Wizards because they have a lot of young talent, they have a lot of veteran talent, they have some veteran talent, they have a lot of young talent. And I don't want to disrespect the Wizards, but obviously things have not been going the way they wanted to in the last couple of years. First off, you got John Wall's injury, and that kind of set everything back was John Wall's injury. But Bradley Beal, you got a 30-point 
score. I mean, last night was just beautiful. They beat the Cavs 119 to 110. They were down early uh, in the fourth quarter by like eight. Uh, Westbrook just absolutely went off. He he started a 14 to five run uh, to actually get their longest winning streak since 2001 when a, uh, a familiar name to me arises michael jordan was uh, on that 2001 team and yeah beal averaging 31.1 points per game he's just slightly slightly behind steph curry this team while i don't see them winning a championship or anything like that i don't see them making the finals this is not a team that i mean i would not want to play this team in a play-in game in any way shape or form you take a look at the standings they're that eight seed right now. The The Raptors and the Bulls are both two games behind them. And honestly, just the way that you got Zach Levine out, I, I honestly don't see the Bulls catching up to him. And I think it'll be the Wizards. Isn't the, the seedings kind of interesting? Uh, I believe it's like Heat, Hornets, or 7, 8, 9, 10, which would be Pacers, Wizards. And uh, I, I think the Pacers have a good team, solid team. I like a lot of the players on it, but... I think the Wizards would get that job done. Obviously, I don't think they're any match for the Brooklyn Nets, but I would definitely watch out for the Wizards to try to creep up because, I mean, just like you look at the six seed, they're only four and a half games behind. I know that's a lot, but they've won eight straight. So we'll see what happens with the Washington Wizards. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I have to burp so badly, but hit that like button, hit that sub button, and I'll...